Hello, I'm James and today I'm going to provide you with an overview of the Keratron Scout Topographer. Before you acquire images from a patient, the first thing you need to do is calibrate the topographer. And you do this by selecting the calibration icon on the opening page of the software. When that is selected, you get a sub-screen with a calibration sphere measurement. You need to make sure that that corresponds with the measurement on the back of the calibration sphere. If they correspond, select OK, and then come over to the topographer and place the calibration sphere securely on the end of the cone. Holding it in position, select OD or OS to trigger the machine. Using the scale on the right hand side which indicates whether the sphere is too close or too far away from the machine, you turn the sphere anti-clockwise until we reach the top of the scale. At that point stop, press the OK button and keep that pressed and then turn the end of the calibration sphere in the opposite direction clockwise until you pass through the optimum point which is where it says OK and an image will be displayed on the screen. You'll be asked two questions. Is the calibration sphere clean with no dust? If the answer to that is yes then you'll be asked another question are the Myers OK? If so select yes and that's calibration completed. The next step is to acquire topography from a patient. Zoe, if you can place your chin in the chin rest. In this instance, we're taking an image of the left eye. When taking an image of the left eye, you would ask the patient just to angle the head slightly to the right. That just makes entry with the cone towards the eye a little bit easier, gets the nose out of the way and stops any problems with shadowing. And when you're acquiring data from the right eye, you would angle the head slightly to the left. To trigger the machine, you select OD or OS, OS in this case, which illuminates the cone and the patient will see a green fixation dot at the end of the cone. And the patient just focuses on this and blinks away as normal while you're getting the um, topographer into position. So we're keeping the crosshairs fairly central to the innermost Myers ring. Move the topographer towards the patient using the scale on the right hand side. When lit at the top indicates that we are slightly too close to the patient which is the ideal position to be in. Okay, this is a great example of a uh, problem that can surface when you're trying to acquire images from a patient with deep set eyes. I cannot get the cone quite close enough to Zoe's eye for us to be able to acquire any data. In this instance, an optional feature um, is what we call the Far Myers cone. And this is a cone that simply fits on, uh, on the end of the topographer in place of the existing cone. Switching the cone is very simple. You just pull away the existing cone and then the Far Myers cone just very easily slots onto the end of the topographer nice and securely and we simply replace the topographer onto the base unit. Now if we uh, place Zoe back into the, uh, onto the chin rest we should be in position now to, uh, to acquire some data. So from the laptop we select the acquire image icon, select OS which illuminates the cone, we move into position with the crosshairs central to the innermost Myers ring. Using the scale on the right hand side when we reach the top which indicates we are too close to the patient's eye, we stop and we ask the patient to blink and open wide, press OK, keep that pressed and then slowly and smoothly withdraw the machine from Zoe's eye and at the optimum point the topographer will capture the image which will then be displayed onto the laptop. 
couple of important points to mention here. A very common fault uh, which will lead to rogue uh, data being displayed is actually capturing the image on the way in. You must move the machine in too close so the light is displayed at the top of the scale. Instruct the patient to blink and open wide. The reasons for that is the blink is to provide a, a good tear film and to open wide is to get the lashes out of the way uh, as much as possible because if the lashes drop down within the image then you're going to have a lot of missing data and the data that is left may be um, inaccurate. Okay and all we do now is simply acquire four images in total for each eye and when you've achieved that come over to the laptop uh, we process that data into color topographical maps.